This tutorial is to teach you a little bit about Microsoft Office 365 Excel Online. So much like Microsoft Word Online, Microsoft Excel Online is a collaborative platform in which you can work on a workbook or Excel sheet um, collaboratively with someone else. So someone at a different computer at the same time can be editing the same document that you are. It live updates. It also saves automatically for you to the cloud. So any edits that you make on Excel online are automatically saved into your OneDrive account um, via the cloud service that's provided through Office 365. So again, to uh, first of all, to access Office 365, you need to get the link either through the employee email link on the WCPS website or simply by searching for Office 365 login um, in Google or whatever search tool you use. Once you get there, you'll log in with your WCPS username and password. Your home screen will probably look like this, where it gives you the variety of different tools to choose. If for some reason it doesn't, then you just click the grid in the top left corner, and then you can choose the application that you want from there. So I'm going to choose Excel. Now, just like uh, Microsoft Excel that you're used to using on your computer, this can be used to create spread short spreadsheets of all sorts. I'm going to access one called Sample for Tutorials that I created this morning. Um, I have this pulled up on my other computer as well, so you can kind of see what it looks like to do live updates. So once this loads, Okay, here's my spreadsheet. I haven't put anything into it yet, so it's just a blank one. Now I want to edit this workbook. So I click Edit Workbook, and I have two choices. I can edit and excel the full program that I would have downloaded onto my computer. Again, remember if you do this, you have to actually save the changes in order for them to save on your cloud um, copy. If you do edit in the Excel online, all, doc all edits are live updated. So let's start with the edit in Excel online and then I'll show you what it looks like to edit in Excel on your um, computer. So edit Excel online, um, it comes up, basically you can do all of the same things that you can do in um, your Microsoft Excel client on your computer. So you can highlight cells and give them borders, you can um, insert values into them. You can also do um, the equations, so I can do the sum and then of these, okay, um, those cells. Whoops, sum, it didn't get it. Sum of these cells, there we go. Okay, and it'll total it for you. Um, you can do all of those same basic things. You can view um, reports about the data. You can sort things. You can, any of that stuff you can do here. I'm not going to go into any of those things. Um, if you need help with how to actually use Excel, this would not be the tutorial for you. Um, again, like Microsoft Word, you can share this with people. So if I just click share, I can search for people by their five and three, their WCPS username. So, whoops. Um, Typing that in will um, search the database because remember this is connected to um, the office people and contacts that we looked at earlier. And then I can decide whether I want them to be able to view or to edit the document. I can decide if they must um, sign in. So if I were sharing this with parents, then I would remove the sign in because they don't have a WCPS um, uh, login and they might not have Microsoft um, Office 365 available to them. So um, that's kind of how you decide about that. And then clicking share would allow that person to access. Now again, I have this up on another computer and I'm going to make an edit there so you can kind of see what it looks like. I am in on my other computer. And so all of the changes that I now make will show up here. So you can see I'm clicked right here on my other computer. And I'm going to enter 14, or 14, 16, 18, and then I'm going to extend this formula down for this whole row so that it'll tally that for me. I did all of that on my other computer, so it's almost as if I'm another person, and it would be the same if I had someone else editing this document. 
So that's what it looks like if you edit online and you collaboratively work together. Notice again that all changes that are being made are automatically saved um, for you, so you don't have to, to you don't have to save it. Um, now I'm going to go. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open it back up. And this time, whenever I edit, I am going to choose to edit it on the with the full functionality of Microsoft Excel on my computer. Okay. So um, when I open it on my computer, I can still save changes to the cloud document, but it looks a little bit different. So let's give it a minute to pull up. It should ask me to log in um, through my account here as well. So I would type in my WCPS username and password. Whoops. Now by signing in, it's letting my computer know which account I'm working on, that I am who I say I am, and it's also going to allow these documents to be synced. So I could come in here then and um, make all the changes that I want to make. Da -da -da. Um, oh, whoops, actually, sorry, that was not correct. First of all, it says server workbook. This is a read-only file. To modify the file, tap edit. So first I need to push edit. Now, at this point, I need to decide. It says that the file is locked for editing. How do you want to open this file? So I can look at it as read-only, or I can save a copy to my computer. So I'm going to save as... And I'm going to call it sample for tutorials and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now I can make changes to it, but all the changes that I make are not coming live to the website. So you can see here that this, the changes that I made on my desktop version are not changing on the web-based version. Okay, so that's the biggest, biggest difference between these two is that with Excel Online, things are automatically saved for you. With Excel on your computer, um, the desktop version, you have to make the edits and then save them. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to save this workbook. Now whenever I save it, it's saving to my computer, so I need to then upload it back to my OneDrive uh, or email it to the person or whatever. So um, again, the live updates are not happening when I'm working on my computer. So that's the biggest difference and the, the thing that's the most important for you to remember. Now if I click on Edit in Excel Online, it's going to pull it up. Changes here will be saved automatically to the cloud, but notice that none of the changes that I saved from my desktop are saved there. That's why this is really, really helpful, because instead of emailing documents back and forth, back and forth, back and forth now, you can share them via Office 365, and you can work on them collaboratively and allow um, those changes to be saved live so that you don't have to be emailing copies of it back and forth. Um, so, okay, that's a little bit about Excel Online and how it can be shared and how you can work on it collaboratively um, with other people. Uh, coming up next, we're going to take a look at PowerPoint Online.